Germany was heavily affected by the aftermath of World War I. The economy was crashing down, the currency was inflating like a balloon, the people were angrier than ever. So this Austrian painter called Adolf Hitler didn't like that, so he started the National Socialist German Workers Party, or the Nazi Party for short. After a while, in 1933, Hitler got roped into power by the Germans. This was quite alarming for the surrounding countries because, um, yeah. Hitler first locked his eyes on Austria, who ended up joining the Nazis in 1938. Then in the same year, Germany occupied Czechia. By when it was time for the invasion of Poland in 1939, the UK, France, and other colonies declared war on Germany. But Germany and the USSR agreed to invade Poland together. Germany was allied with Italy and Japan, so they joined the war on Germany's side. Before that, Japan had invaded lots of mainland China in the first Sino Japanese War. After that, Germany invaded Denmark and Norway. In 1940, Germany managed to capture Paris, causing France to surrender, then got turned into Vicky France, a German puppet. Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Slovakia, Croatia, East Europa, and Thailand were all in the Axis with Germany. When the Allies started, started mustering up allies, there were only 14 countries that were officially neutral, so Sweden, Switzerland, Spain, Portugal, Ireland, Turkey, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, Andorra, Monaco, Liechtenstein, San Marino, and Vatican City. In 1941, Japan bombed one of the U.S. ships, which caused them to join the war on the Allied powers side. In the same year, Germany attempted Operation Barbarossa, which was the biggest land invasion in history. It saw a massive success in invading the Soviet Union, who joined the war on the Allied powers side because... Also, in that same year, Germany did the Holocaust, which is basically just a genocide of all the Jews in Europe, where 6 million people died. In 1943, Italy plunged into a civil war and ended up switching sides. And by 1944, the USSR had repelled through most of Germany's attacks. Then, June 6, 1944, also known as D-Day, the Allied powers started the liberation of France, sending thousands and thousands of troops into Normandy. This operation was successful, and by late 1944, they'd taken France back. Then the Allied powers started pushing into Germany, who ended up surrendering in May 15, 1955, with the suicide of Hitler. The USA didn't want to have to deal with doing an invasion of mainland Japan, because the Japanese weren't going down to kill every single soldier. So the USA decided to nuke Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and because of that, along with the Soviets planning to invade them, caused Japan to surrender on September 2 of the same year. Both Germany and Japan were occupied by the Allied powers, and Germany was partitioned between the Allied powers, eventually creating East and West Germany. And to prevent something like this from ever happening again, they put military restrictions on Germany, which are still in effect today.